Just before the break, we heard from Congressman Mike Gallagher about the efforts to make Lake Sturgeon an endangered species. Well, tonight, hundreds of people packed the gym at Stockbridge High School, including fishing clubs, families, and longtime sturgeon spearing enthusiasts. Groups there wanted to hear more about the efforts to protect the sturgeon population and the outlook for the upcoming season. The first alert update, Holly Brantley brings us details from tonight's discussion. It's a family tradition for me, a fifth generation. Bye. Polly Krieger proudly showing photos of her family sturgeon spearing, celebrating the Wisconsin tradition year after year on Lake Winnebago. But it's a big get together. It's like a family reunion for the whole lake. Her mother saying it's hard to put into words what sturgeon spearing has meant to her family. I always said getting a sturgeon was just a bonus. It's just the, the get together and you see people that you only see once a year. Keeping the pastime alive was important enough for her family to show up almost two hours early to get a spot on the front row for a meeting at Stockbridge High School in front of a standing room only crowd. The group Sturgeon for Tomorrow, local and state leaders, members of local fishing clubs and others discussed the future of the sport. This comes amid concerns that the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service might place Lake Sturgeon on the endangered species list. For families like Polly's, they want to know why. Biggest question, why? Why do you want to do this? This is a story of successful conservation. Representative Mike Gallagher and others spoke to concerns raised by the community. Dean Schrader of Sturgeon for Tomorrow saying data from the DNR shows the sturgeon population in Wisconsin is strong. We know we can reproduce a fish. We actually can harvest the eggs. We can do that part. So if we do have an issue, we can reproduce them and put it back in the lake and the rivers. Representative Ty Bowden says Wisconsin sets the example for sturgeon conservation. We have it figured out. Uh, all the other states, a lot of them that have sturgeon populations, come to us for advice. We work with them on uh, how to manage and how to um, increase the conservation effort. Um, in their states. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service has said it will decide the fate of the Lake Sturgeon by a June 30th deadline. In Stockbridge, Holly Brantley, Action 2 News.